Welcome to the Cal U Weather Center. I'm Studio Meteorologist Dalton Lochran. Looking at temperatures across our nation right now, we do see a couple low 20s up to our northern uh, region as well 36 degrees currently in Pittsburgh, while warm down in Florida at 82 degrees. Looking at our current radar, we do see this large system as we're all aware as the snowstorm that is coming for tonight. This is part of the storm as well as another low pressure system that's working down to the south. They're both going to work their way up and combine overnight tonight, producing a large amount of snow all for the northern northeast part of the United States, as well as Pennsylvania in the Cal U area. As we look at our future radar, we'll notice these large storm systems come through, both combining right over top of Maryland overnight tonight. These are going to work their way northeast overnight, producing a good amount of snow. By Thursday and by Wednesday and Thursday, we'll notice some lake effect snow wrap back around over after this storm passes through. See this lake effect starting to take in place. We're going to see another one to two inches come off of that lake effect snow. But if we look for our total snow accumulations from the NAM model, we do notice there is a good amount of snow for the northeast part of the United States as well as up towards Cleveland, they're expecting five to eight inches for their area just because of that lake enhancement. As that snow works its way over the lake, it picks up more moisture and it's able to dump more out. For our Cal U area, we are expecting a good amount of snow as well. For our area, four to six inches for most of our area as well. Pittsburgh worked their way up north just because of that lake enhancement coming off of Lake Erie. They can expect more snow, 8 to 12 inches up in Franklin, as well Uniontown and Latrobe, that's from the mountain. The mountain's going to really pick up the snow and be able to dump more onto their area. So 8 to 12 inches for more of the mountainous regions. So if you're going, you have any plans to go over in the mountains, definitely would hold off for tonight just because of the very unsafe travels. You're going to have whiteout conditions. Snow is going to be coming down, low visibility as well. It's going to be very hard to keep up with the roads just because of how fall, how fast and wet the snow is going to be. It's going to be very hard to keep up with. So definitely, if you don't have to be on the roads, don't be out at all just because of this snow, the snowstorm. For timing, we do notice by 6, 8 p.m., Franklin's starting to see that snow fall as well. By midnight, 1 a.m., Pittsburgh, you start to see that snow and eventually gets works its way down into Uniontown, the Cal U area in Washington by about 1 or 2 a.m. as well. So definitely the snowstorm is going to come through overnight. So not many people are going to be on the roads. So definitely it'll be, it's a good thing that it's coming overnight as better than it being coming during the morning commute. For today, we did notice that low pressure is still sitting over Chicago as well. We have these warmer temperatures, 36 degrees, but the snow is going to work its way overnight tonight, producing those good amounts, like I said. But for tomorrow, that nor'easter has set up perfectly over the Atlantic Ocean. It's going to go up the coast towards Maine. So we're still going to see that snow still coming around as it's wrapping around. It's picking up off the lake and still coming out our direction. So definitely you can still expect some snow th for your morning commute throughout the day. Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to start seeing lake effect snow. Your basic, your normal lake effect snow storm that you usually see at during any kind of storm is what we're going to expect for Wednesday and Thursday. So one to two inches expected for our area. For today's high though, 37 degrees. We cool off majorly, 16 in the low for Thursday, 13 degrees. We warm back up though, thankfully by Friday, we're gonna see almost 40 degrees. By the weekend, 44 on Sunday. So it looks like it's gonna warm back up after these large amounts of snow, but definitely wanna be careful tonight, especially starting by 7 p.m. tonight. Definitely wanna have all your plans and everyone indoors and just wanna stay indoors for the rest of the night just because the snowstorm can come pretty quick and it's going to cover those roads and any untreated surfaces very quickly. I'm student meteorologist Dalton Lochran. Have a safe night.